Okay, this is a com this is a completely serious question. Please, uh, okay. So it's been said that like when film companies like film manufacturing, like film production, whatever, film companies the with what they do with their old product once like it was no longer commercially viable. So we're talking like the nineteen tens, nineteen twenties. Uh, maybe into the 1930s, but I think it started changing around then. Once their product like wasn't commercially viable anymore, they would just dump it in the ocean, like literally. People, cl that's what they claim. I think it's maybe a bit hyperbolic, um, maybe sort of like it's supposed to be figurative. But my question is, if people, if they were literally dumping film stock into the ocean, uh, it's presumably the Pacific Ocean, like near Hollywood. Um, can, would like a diving expedition now, like a hundred years later, would that film stock still be preserved by the salt water? Like, would the films still be like salvageable in any way if somebody <laughs> were to lead? I'm completely serious, but it is like, I know it's a sort of funny idea, but if somebody were to leave, lead a deep sea expedition dive because like you look back at how many like lost films there are like right now look okay so i'm doing research on like elmo lincoln serials uh specifically right now uh but just like right, let's just go in here just like look at this is like literally just one edition like uh, specifically about this one serial that he was in but look at all these pictures Sky, this movie looks so awesome. I'm like reading the plot summaries of it. It's called The Flaming Disc. It's a serial. It's like a serial. It's not a movie. But look at how cool all this stuff looks. And he's like considered, I know th this is, you know, an advertising thing. But like he's considered like the, the biggest, like most ripped guy in Hollywood at the time. Which like is maybe believable. I'd need to do some more research before I, you know, I can't. I made up my mind on it. But look at that. That's awesome. Um, I need to do some research before I made up my mind on that uh, claim. But like, look at that. That's awesome. But like, this movie's lost. There's like no way to watch this, and um, presumably, uh, I mean, obviously, like prints degrade and stuff like that. Uh, there's like a lot of things that can happen to movie prints, but like, does the, would the salt water like preserve? I mean, cause like, and you, you also have to think, I can't remember the name of it, but like that early type of film stock that's like super, that like turns to jelly and stuff like that, which was, you know, probably this obviously, I mean, shot on like the best stock of its time. Cause like, this is universal, but like, or whatever, dude, I'm going off on so many tangents here, but the important thing is like, who wants to, like, can somebody confirm for me, point me in any evidence, like, are there literally just, like, th thousands of lost films? Like, it, greed. Greed, supposedly, is at the bottom of the ocean. If, hypothetically, someone were to go to the bottom of the ocean and find greed, could we salvage it? Can this person be me if we find out that this is true? I really want to watch this Elmo Lincoln serial. I want to watch quite a few Elmo Lincoln serials, actually. And guess what? They're considered lost. And, like, I know this is, like, some Indiana Jones type of view of archaeology. And, like, but, oh, come on. Can somebody tell me if, like, uh, you know, if I go to the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> will I find a bunch of movies? Alrighty, thank you for watching. Um, please, yeah, if you find literally any information related to this, uh, please let me know. You know, hit, send off, sign off in the comments with some sources, because I'm uh, I don't know how to Google this. Like, I don't know how to phrase this search. I have before, and I just don't really know how to. I've I've looked up like, because like, there's no way to phrase this that sounds like reasonable or that sa that that's like a question that people are necessarily like just like asking on Quora dot com or something like that. So um, yeah, any scientists out there? You know, I have there. Are, you know. 140 something of you. 
sure 90% of them are bots, but like, yeah. Uh, and I know that I should pro Oh, this is reflecting. Oh, whatever. Um, yeah, I know. I know this is probably a question that if anybody, I should have the answer to. But I'm asking you instead. And this is also so that, like, I get this idea that's been, you know, crushing my brain for a while. Because, like, greed is a big one. Like, actually, I think it was greed made for Universal because Stroheim made um, a lot of his movies. He actually made a movie with Elmo Lincoln that is lost for Universal. And it's like, um, I don't know. Greed was MGM, but still. I'm sure they dumped their stuff in the ocean, too. But I mean, uh, Under Crimson Skies. I want to watch that too. I want to watch a bunch of Elmo Lincoln movies and all that exists is like a crappy condensed version of Tarzan, which is already crap to begin with. And I'm sure this is crap too. But like, I don't know, dude. Honestly, oh, all right. I'm not going to, I was going to share something, but I'm going to keep that on hold until uh, I, because like, I'm probably not going to do it, but I really want to do something like it. So I'll save that for another day. But it's related to Elmo Lincoln and these lost movies. And it's not about me leading, leading a deep sea uh, expedition. How long? Oh, this, all right. Nobody's watched this long. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.